I guess that we all agree that tapping aluminium is pain in the ass. So let me show you a little trick. So here we have a slightly gummed up thread cutter. We can also recover this completely destroyed roughing mill. And this slightly used spot reel is just for testing the compatibility with titanium nitride. For chemists the method is obvious. You simply dissolve aluminium in some alkaline solution. So here we make sodium hydroxide based train cleaner with water. The exact concentration is not that important. Obviously the stronger the solution will be, the faster the effect will be. When the sodium hydroxide is dissolved, you can simply put the R tools in the solution. And immediately you can see a reaction started. Aluminium reacts with the sodium hydroxide to form sodium aluminate and hydrogen. So the bubbles you see here is the hydrogen gas being produced. When the bubbling stops, the reaction is completed, so there is no aluminium left. In the end, your tools and the container may be covered with white dust. And that is sodium hydroxide that reacted with carbon dioxide from the air forming sodium carbonate. Okay, so you can see here that the tools are pretty clean. Titanium nitride seems not to be a problem. We were also able to recover this big boy. Only there is slight stain on the clumping side. But that can be protected easily. As curious as I am, I went a little bit further. I tried to use the sodium hydroxide solution as a cutting fluid. Be aware that sodium hydroxide can destroy anodized surface of the aluminium. I was using this on aluminium without any surface treatment and there was almost no visible stain. But what's more important, no aluminium was ever stuck on my tap. Only the reaction will not stop immediately so there will be some sounds from the holes. <laughs> You can neutralize the sodium hydroxide with some weak acid, such as citric acid or, I don't know, vitamin C. Okay, happy tapping guys, see you later.